Xiaomi is the undoubted king of the budget smartphone market in India and the company has just launched the Redmi Note 7 Pro to solidify its hold on the market. So what's the Redmi Note 7 Pro like? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, this is not the box it comes in, this is just the box they gave it to us in and I've been using it for a bit and here are my first impressions of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's take a look at the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Starting off with the design, the Redmi Note 7 Pro features what Xiaomi calls Aura design and it looks stunning. I mean, take a look at this bag, it's just gorgeous. It's not plastic if you're wondering, this is a glass bag that has Gorilla Glass 5 on it for protection. It comes in beautiful colours and has this stunning light thing that happens on the back. The back also has the dual rear cameras, the flash and the fingerprint scan. On the front, the Redmi Note 7 Pro features Xiaomi's dot notch display which is basically a teardrop design and it looks good. It has thin bezels on the side which look good and yes, there's a chin here but that's pretty standard on phones in this price range, I don't have any issues with it. Apart from that, the Redmi Note 7 Pro has all the things you want from it. There's the usual buttons, the hybrid SIM card slot, the headphone jack is still here and there's USB-C. That's definitely impressive. Plus, the Redmi Note 7 Pro supports dual Volti which is just awesome. Anyway, the display here is a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus LCD display and it looks good. The colours look nice, it gets bright and just overall I don't think there's anything to be complained about. Plus, it's a Full HD display, so it's nice and sharp as well. I mean, just look at it. In terms of cameras, the Redmi Note 7 Pro comes with a 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual rear camera. And yes, this is the Sony IMX586 sensor, which is a true 48 MP camera. So you can expect some really detailed shots here. I've only played with it for a little while, but the photos from the Note 7 Pro look good. Just check these out. By default, the phone takes 12 megapixel photos, but you can switch to 48 megapixels in the Pro mode to get more detailed shots like this one. This is pretty nice, isn't it? On the front, the Note 7 Pro comes with a 13 megapixel selfie camera, and yeah, it's not a dual camera like the Redmi Note 6 Pro, but it's pretty good nonetheless. I took a couple of selfies from the phone, and they definitely look nice. One standout feature of the Note 7 Pro is that it supports 4K video recording. Yes, you can record 4K 30fps videos with the Redmi Note 7 Pro and it has EIS as well. Anyway, here's a sample 4K video we shot from the Redmi Note 7 Pro and as you can see, it definitely looks pretty detailed and nice. So the cameras on the Redmi Note 7 Pro look pretty good but I'll be using the phone extensively over the next few days and I'll give my final opinion on the cameras in a full review. Moving on to the performance, the Redmi Note 7 Pro ditches the Snapdragon 660 from the Redmi Note 6 Pro and packs in the all-new Snapdragon 675 instead, and it works really well. It comes in 4GB and 6GB variants with up to 128GB of storage. We have the 4GB variant here, and in my brief usage of the phone, it has been really smooth. Apps load up quickly, the phone feels snappy and fast, and even gaming is a good experience. I tried playing both PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 on the phone, and I faced no issues. PUBG Mobile runs on high here, and it runs pretty well. The Redmi Note 7 Pro comes with MIUI 10 based on Android 9 Pie and it's the same MIUI that we all know. It has a ton of handy features, probably the best gesture implementation I've seen on Android phones and all the MIUI things we expect. Now I know you guys want to see the benchmark scores as well. So here are the benchmark scores for the Redmi Note 7 Pro compared with benchmarks of the Snapdragon 710 and as you can see, the 675 is just a lot better. So yeah, in terms of performance, the Redmi Note 7 Pro definitely feels like a very capable smartphone that won't let you down no matter what you're doing with it. So far, I really like the performance of this phone, be it while gaming or just doing everyday tasks, but I'll reserve my final judgement for our full review. Then there's the battery. The Redmi Note 7 Pro comes with a big 4000mAh battery and while it's not the biggest in the segment, it's definitely big and it should last you well over a day with ease. Plus the phone supports Quick Charge 4.0 which is just great. There's also a fast charger in the box which is definitely impressive even though it's a 10 watt charger and not a quick charge 4 adapter. Other than that, there are a couple of things to note here. First off, the Redmi Note 7 Pro supports dual Volti which is amazing and the phone also comes with support for Widevine L1 so you can watch Netflix and Prime videos in HD which is something not a lot of phones in this price range too. Well, that was a good first look at the Redmi Note 7 Pro and so far it feels like this is one of the best budget phones in the market right now. 
I mean, it has a great modern looking display, a big battery, smooth performance, a massive 48 megapixel camera, and USB C. The design is awesome, and there's Android Pie based MIUI. And all of this for a starting price of just rupees 14,000. It doesn't really get better than that. Of course, these are just our initial impressions of the phone, and we'll be testing everything about it thoroughly, including the 48 megapixel camera and comparisons with the OnePlus 60 and the iPhone XS, just like Xiaomi did. The thermal performance while gaming and everything in between. Plus, if you have any questions about this phone, let us know and we'll definitely answer them in our full review. So yeah, those were our first impressions of the Redmi Note 7 Pro, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.